Hopefully, things around here can settle down again. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. RM and TB. I wonder who they were. I think Gabe had more fun at his job than anyone. Who pays for their alcohol with a check? Oh, wait. Gabe? Gabe. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lucan, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check, like, right now. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. Okay, this is probably the most haven thing I've seen yet. Gabe was too young. Just too young. Bet Pike's really had his work cut out for him these last few days. Hey, Pike. Hey! Um, how are you holding up? I guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah, that's what everyone's been saying. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Nice to know. Hipsters can survive at this altitude. Wind chimes. The original jam band. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change. I keep Typhon eight years of my life, and they can't give me back one simple answer about my job. Typhon doesn't give a shit about anyone. I just still can't wrap my head around Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. 
Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed's nothing says festive, like three exclamation points. I just hope the council passes the vote. So, anyone seen Loudon? Sorry about today. It's not your fault. But I was really looking forward to climbing Teller's Peak. I think the trails... Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes. We're all suffering here. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Want to do something together next week? Sure. I have a pottery class Wednesday night. Want to join? Uh, class? Uh, maybe? Could we get dinner first? Yeah, I usually grab a bite with Katie. You should come. Oh, I... I meant just the two of us. Dude, we hang out all day. Aren't you sick of me? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up. And then I'll lose my best friend. I mean, you don't know that. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Might be a good time to check out the... Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. I hear he's been having a rough time. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just... Need some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death... ...is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so 
so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you going to sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call. And I'm going to prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in, no matter how hard it is. Probably cost more than my bus ticket. Sweet logo. Bet Charlotte designed it herself. And which part of the brain is responsible for the crazy glowy feelies? These bougie dispensaries are gonna put all the creepy dudes named Gene out of business. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip? Insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere, and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I hope these helped a little, Gabe. Charlotte's dedication to her art is so inspiring. There's nothing quite like a cup of weed on a cold day. I really love Charlotte's style. There's something you don't see in Portland. That's a Zemi. In the Dominican, they're said to house the spirits of gods. Mostly, I just like how it looks. It's really cool. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. It blows my mind that Charlotte's been running the dispensary this whole time. I couldn't even leave the apartment. God, put some clothes on. I could totally paint that. I just don't want to. These are my kind of discounts. A little steep. But can you really put a price on a kid's dreams? Nice contribution, Gabe. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. I'm always here for you if you need anything. Thanks. Back at you. And he did it all with one rusty saw and a bottle of gin. Impressive. Wonder what it's like to have I do my drugs out of a glass sculpture type of money.
still need to check the flower shop for Mac. It's fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Yeah. A warning would have been nice. Cancel AAA membership. Yikes. Not transfer, cancel. Represented. I have to imagine Gabe would be amused to know he made it in the newspaper. Rep rip. Oh, it's that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music, but maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. The breakup section, huh? That's rough, buddy. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Have you talked to Ethan at all? He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like the one you and Gabe were gonna take him to? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Stormrather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap with their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of indie rock coming down the pike, but first, a few announcements. The Spring Festival is just around the corner, sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. Admission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. The adventures of Thanor are about to get real. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Hey, you posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. 
Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. I is she there now? Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you so much. Can I pick her up today? No sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. You don't say. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion, but fuck this. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. How about a throwback to Ethan's old buddy? Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. It's sweet she's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Thanks again. Me and Chrissy owe you one. You bet. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Are we always just going to scrape by? Things will get better. Piratey Peaches is making an actual profit, remember? Fine. You were right about Piratey Peaches. Oh, I was right, huh? <laughs> How do those words taste? Not like peaches. We should push the rum raisin harder. It's surprisingly addictive. You haven't been putting actual rum in it again, have you? Uh, no. Anyway, I took out a radio ad too. That'll help. Please say it's not the one you read to me the other day. That was so weird. It's not weird, it's fun. Don't you like fun? Sunny. It makes an impression. Don't worry, okay? This is to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. We're losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Hope they figure it out.
Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I... Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay, time to figure out why she's afraid. All my memories, All my memories are, fading. are fading. I feel, I feel broken. broken. about my condition, they'll make me close this place. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. She forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <laughs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. You could focus on something else for a bit and see if it comes back. I suppose. But I can't help feeling like it was something important. Whatever it was. Well, 
Does Riley know? You could ask her. Oh, no, no. I can't ask Riley. I wouldn't want to bother her. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, um, uh, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. first. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in, and then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. We can do this. Did you trim these flowers today? I don't remember. Phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. <sighs> Goodness. What was the order for? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. It should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She was finally feeling better. 
I didn't want to ruin that. That must have been a different time. I hope it's good news. I hope you find Mac. Thanks. I should get an emotional support dog. But like, for other people. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you buy your chicken coop? No, I couldn't. I spent too much money romancing the lumberjack. I can't believe you think I would like this game. Just play it, you'll see. Only if you start Dust and Daylight. Uh, I'll think about it. I'm so fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Mac. Alex. Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. Drop the act. I know you've been lying about that night. You don't know shit. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. Simple, but effective. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hey, Riley. Alex. Hey. I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him. So much. He was like an older brother to me. I'm glad he had you. Thank you, Alex. Really.
You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. Will she be all right without you? She's a tough cookie, but I do worry about her sometimes. She's getting older. One day I'll have to take care of her. I know having you work with her in the shop has meant the world. Yeah. To both of us. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he could have ignored Gabe's call? I mean, do you think he's capable of that? I don't want to believe that. Sorry, I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah, I get it. It's just, if he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared he did something horrible. Riley... Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Mac trying to skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to stoke his fear. I should make sure there's nothing else I want to do before I confront Mac. to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Good. He's scared. Time to find out the truth. What Riley told me might do it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off! Leave me alone!
fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me! It's not fair! I didn't do anything wrong! It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. You might not have been the reason he died, but you covering for their fuck-up makes you guilty, too. You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? All right, Mac, come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. Yeah, well, you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Yeah, it's... 
Can we talk? Where are you? Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You've got to stop torturing yourself. You did everything you could have. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. There's only one person holding you responsible for this, Ryan. You need to forgive yourself. <laughs> You're not alone. gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no. He chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps <laughs> off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know.
Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay, think of something sad, like breaks your heart sad. Really focus until you feel it. Gabe's <sighs> laugh. We never made anyone laugh like him. You said you'll never hear it again. <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> the kinds of stuff we got up to. <laughs> We're going to send him off right this time. Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? together. <laughs> Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. <laughs> It'll move. Gabe! That's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up! It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... the crown of... Property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? 
I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I, I feel what they feel, as if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Whew. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. That, that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but... why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Okay, then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. You're a loose cannon, Chen, but you get results. <laughs> this one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, 
I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build.